Well, hello, D'Artagnan here, starting spring break. Well, not like, you know, your your typical college spring break. Spring break for the kiddos, which means I get the week off from teaching, and they get the week off from having to get grilled by me all the time. Kitterton, Kittertron, welcome. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, I can't remember which uh, match I played uh, with you on. I can't remember if uh, we were against each other or on the same team, but... Uh, yeah, DVD is fun. Alrighty. So, I'm here to provide the music and the chat. And uh, hopefully to, to stay warm. It's a little cold and dark and wet here today. So, I've got my tea. I've got some delicious peanut butter cookies. And hopefully everybody, uh, at least living close to me, is staying warm. And if you're in a warm spot, awesome. All right, I need to warm up a little bit. My hands are cold, but maybe we'll play some short, easy fiddle tunes to get started. The Faceless Fiddler. Let's do the Missing Horse Reel. short, cute little fiddle tunes. If you're new to the stream, welcome. I'm D'Artagnan. And uh, yeah, I do mostly uh, music and just some fun chat. Uh, I'm looking at adding some game nights to my stream because uh, as uh, Kidder Tron was saying there before, he met me playing video games. And I met some other really great streamers playing video games as well. I met that violin chick uh, playing Dead by Daylight. She's awesome. Definitely go check her out. I think she's streaming after me, actually. Alrighty. So, yeah, I do mostly music uh, and stuff like that. Uh, fiddle, uh, Baroque, and classical music. Sometimes a little bit of rock gets uh, dabbled in there, although I really haven't done much recently. It's actually been quite a few weeks since I did any rock and roll on my violin. I need, I need more rock music uh, for the violin is what I need. I don't have a whole lot in my collection right now. So you'll get mostly... Baroque and classical 20th century and fiddle stuff from me. But eventually, more rock and then some uh, more sophisticated classical and Baroque pieces, hoping to record more chamber music and orchestral stuff so that I can uh, add some nice rich harmonies with my multi tracking software, which you'll get to hear some anyway. I've got some basic stuff recorded, duets, chamber music, uh, two to four parts, stuff like that. All right, so I'm going to flip to the front of my fiddle book. And, well, speaking of duets and multi-tracking, let's play the Tiger Hills two-step. I've got one of the parts recorded for that. So we will load that up and play that back while I play the duet part. Here we go. Thank you. 
again, another fun short one. All right, let's close that and jump into some Baruch music. I should probably turn off my Discord notifications. Either that or uh, mute my desktop audio. Now I'll turn off Discord notifications. So that it is not disturbing the stream. There we go. Okie okay, dokie. Okay.
as I was playing that piece, I just remembered all of a sudden that I still need to find my copy of Fly in the Puddin'. So I'm going to write that down before I forget. Because I really, really want to play that one again, and I need to practice it. There we go. Perfect. My important to-do list. It's going to be so much fun when I get that one re relearned and get the second violin part recorded. So cool. Alrighty, back to some fiddle. Let's play some waltzes. How's it going, friendo? It's been a while since I've seen you on stream, talked to you. And actually, sorry, dude, I haven't really been watching your stream lately. By the way, everybody, Adventure Class, go check out his stream. He's an amazing gamer and a cool, cool human being. How are things over there with uh, you and Lav? Good Final Fantasy isn't for everyone. You know, I've never tried any of the Final Fantasy games. It might be worth uh, trying at least once. They look interesting. I think I'm going to uh, spring for Cyberpunk 2077. It's on sale right now. And I keep hearing lots of good things about it. I know uh, we, have a, uh, we have a friend uh, who plays a lot of it. I see her online all the time playing it. So... I think I should jump on that bandwagon. <laughs> Lav and sister decorating eggs. Yes, it's that time of year. Get the egg egg decorating going. Picked up Monster Train recently. May stream at some point. Relaxing today. Work got crazy and on call this week. Yeah, fair enough. I I went in the opposite direction. I uh, I've got spring break this week for the kids, so I'm not teaching or doing much. But I've got some other projects I'm doing. Still streaming. Still uh, looking at adding some things to my stream. Um, but uh, getting more work done in my wood shop and helping with some projects at our church. We're doing a bunch of renovations and stuff and running cable and. All that fun stuff. Spent five hours there yesterday running new cables for our, our AV system. So that was fun. Actually, I was tired, but it was it was, it was a good tired after I was done. And uh, lots of good people to, to work with. So good times. We're still not using the church yet for church services, but uh, we're trying to get it prepped and ready for when things do open back up again. Well, we're technically allowed to open now, but we're being extra cautious. So we haven't opened yet. But we are having a special service with a limited number of people in next month, so we're trying to get stuff in place. Jealous of the wood shop would really like to make something for front entrance bench with cubbies for shoe bags from kids when we get there. I'll still, still a lot to do in the basement though. Yeah, yeah. You guys, uh, is the drywall up yet? Or are you still, uh, still working on that too? And I was thinking about that front bench for you guys with cubbies and stuff. Got a couple of ideas. I'll have to wing them your way. All right, let's 
play a couple more of these waltzes. Ooh, this one's good. It's got the duet part recorded. La 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 la. Recent files. Here we go. No drywall yet. Gonna tweak the plumbing. We got the vent installed for the bathroom exhaust now. That's good. There you go. Cool, cool. All right. Let's play this waltz. Knowing since duplex, we can't pull any of our own permits. Really? Huh. Interesting. Spats would know more about that than I would. Uh, cause she works in that department. <laughs> but, uh, uh, maybe, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the rules are surrounding that. That's crazy. Yeah. Shared wall makes it so you can't do homeowner permits. Oh, uh, gotcha. Not even if it's not affecting the shared wall, even if it's only affecting stuff on, in your own living space. Want to bring down the attached house. Yeah, well, yeah. That, that, that's, that's a bigger problem if you're trying to do your own electrical. I guess if you're doing your own plumbing, you could technically flood both houses. That wouldn't be good either. But basic woodworking? Eh. I know. There's some stuff you don't need permits for. Like, you don't really need permits for a lot of finishing work. So, you're framing walls and some plumbing stuff. Yeah, probably. So, cool, cool. <laughs> Yeah, and also all the stuff that we're doing in the church right now doesn't require permits because we're just running audio cables and things like that. So that's it. That's good. <laughs> you got to be careful with public buildings like that, though, too. Got to make sure you have all your your ducks in a row when you're doing stuff like that in, in a place like that. All right, I'm going to play this waltz, light, late, the Lake Audi waltz. Gonna be lurking. Cool, cool. Thanks, dude. Well, we'll see you around. Alrighty. Let's see. I feel like playing some Mozart. So let's let's find some Mozart. I got some Mozart in some of these books. There's a good one.
Mm -hmm. That's always a lovely one to play. Alrighty. That was a Courant, a dance by Corelli, another Baroque piece. Mozart, of, of course, is classical. In case any of you want to know, I love talking about music history. And of course, I've got a lot of students right now that are playing some really interesting music that I love telling them the stories about. So it's good, good times. Alrighty. I just wanted to say quickly too, thank you to all my followers. I finally passed the threshold to apply to the affiliate program. I just need to do a little bit more streaming to run up some of my other metrics before they'll let me apply for that. But thank you everybody for supporting the stream. It is very much appreciated. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm D'Artagnan. And yes, enjoy music and uh, say hi. Let's chat. Lots of fun. Uh, in the coming weeks, I'm going to be making some more changes and hopefully some, some cool additions to the stream. Uh, I usually uh, stream Sundays, Mondays, and Tuesdays, uh, and I will be streaming tomorrow and Tuesday this week, but fault is starting the following week. The Tuesday stream is going to get moved. Um, I'm thinking very likely a Saturday stream, both uh, music performance chat and games afterwards. So I'm still uh, organizing my thoughts on all of that. All right. Let's hit some fiddle tunes again. Where did I put my fiddle book? There it is. What are we opening up to? Randomly opening up to the Wasagaming Waltz. I can't remember if I recorded the duet for that one. I did not. Okay, let's see. Oh, right. I think I recorded this one a couple times, and I was never happy with it. Uh, let's try again. Add new stereo track. Here we go. So for those of you who are new here, some insight into my process when I'm not playing a cappella, when I'm actually playing duets or harmonies, I this is how I do it. I record one of the parts and then I play the other one while it's playing back. I'm not using anything particularly sophisticated for that. I mean, I've got some decent mics and a mixer, but for software, I'm just using Audacity. Um, I use open source stuff whenever I can. There's a lot of good open source software out there.
Okay, got that recorded. And I'm happy with that one that time. So I'm probably going to finally save the file for this one. All right, here we go. Duet part. <laughs> Yes, finally, more to add to the list. Save project. And that was the Wasagaming Waltz. There we go. Awesome. All right, I'll close that file now and find another random fiddle tune to play. Those ones I have not played before. Do I want to sight read today? Nah. I haven't actually... Ooh, polkas. No, I haven't uh, done any of those polkas yet, so let's... Uh, we'll, uh, we'll dispense with that one for now. Ooh, a jig. The Fire Chief's jig. This one, the robin in the bird bath. Kind of reminds me of uh, the red bird bath uh, with cute little frolicking birds in my in-laws front yard and we're coming up to that season finally it's cold and wet here today but at least it's not snowing so there we go mm -hmm. all right let's see Let's pick some random stuff again out of this book. Some of this is pretty crazy. Oh, this one's a good one. My fingers should be warm enough for this one now.
always fun to play uh, as long as you're warmed up. And I remember too now um, uh, back when I was a student and sometimes we would see, uh, we would try to race this piece. And I'm sure you can imagine how that turned out. The, the goal was to be able to play all the way through it as fast as you possibly could, but still doing it properly. Of course, when everybody's trying to do it at the same time and everybody's got different tempos, nobody can tell what's going on. It's hilarious fun, though. And one time, uh, me and a few of my friends decided we were going to really practice it and make sure that it was like super, super well polished so that we could all band together and play it at the same tempo really, really fast and try to beat the teacher. And uh, that was that was a hilarious class. I think he was uh, shocked, but also proud of the fact that we uh, we uh, took the time and the work to best him like that. <laughs> so there you go. What a what a what a good reason to practice, eh? See if you can beat your teacher. Any of my students are watching. Challenge, challenge. <laughs> Alrighty. This is a gavotte by Jean Philippe Rameau. <laughs> So it's kind of relaxing to play. All right. Uh, 
Well, you'll have to excuse me for one quick second, but don't go anywhere because I will be right back. And I'm back. I didn't take too long already. Oh, get my headset readjusted again. There we go. This headset's starting to wear out, but it's got some life. Still got a lot of life left in it, actually. It's mostly the cord. I think I damaged it just sitting there playing with the turn, you know, wrapping it around my finger over and over and over again while I was waiting for games to load. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> but I eventually want to just uh, get some adapters so that I can use earbuds when I'm streaming with my violin. That way I can hear my violin a little bit better. These these uh, cans here are not noise cancelling, but they do block out a lot of of noise coming from outside the the cup itself. So it makes playing with them on a little weird. All right. Ah, yes. Let's play the Adoration. This is becoming one of my favorites. One of the ones that I still have to program a piano part for.
AC, you have returned. Welcome back. Whenever, buddy, whenever somebody says they've returned or they're back or I say it, I always think of the Dragoon from StarCraft with the, the deep rumbly, I have returned. I can't do it, but you know, it's more like a computer generated voice. I should actually get some of those sounds for my stream, especially for when I finally get it, like get it monetized and I can actually have subscribers. And when people resubscribe, it can be like, I have returned. That'd be fun. Blizzard actually has a bunch of sounds that streamers can download for free to um, from StarCraft to uh, to augment their stream. Gearing up here is the storm ranked again. Got got to relearn the meta. <laughs> yeah, I've been slowly dabbling back into StarCraft. I've been trying to get um, uh, more of the achievements done. Since I touched it, <laughs> yeah. Well, I like I've only been streaming for what a few, what three months already? Yeah, three months. And so I really haven't uh, done a lot, a lot. I mean, I've added a little bit of new stuff, but. Right intermission screen between games. Yeah. Yeah, I've got... Right now, I'm just using... Uh, the overlays that I'm using are just... They came with Streamlabs. But uh, uh, I found a set of, like, vintage-looking Art Deco overlays that somebody had created. And uh, uh, they're actually not asking that much uh, money for them. I'm, uh, I'm looking at possibly upgrading my, my overlays to some kind of vintage looking stuff and it'd be kind of cool but also to get more record uh, pre-recording done so that i can do more duets and chamber music on stream and stuff like that get a repertoire list set so that people can start making requests and and stuff like that and and set up like a, a cheering system for that sort of thing like other musicians do so get some better overlay yeah, well, like I said, I I'll, I can send you the link for that Art Deco kind of vintage looking one. It looks like it's uh, overlays from the 20s and 30s, um, uh, which I thought would suit me quite well. And then uh, my wife thinks I should get more dressed up for my streams, like put on a tie and stuff. That'd be kind of fun. Um, but we'll see. Uh, but I need some other hardware too. Like I, I kind of, I don't have like a backdrop or anything yet. Uh, like at least to get like a uh, a black curtain and hope and maybe a green screen too so that i can do some chroma key stuff and things like that so all in all in good time doing red tie with suit jacket for mine since it's the logo yeah it's your logo right now yeah <laughs> my logo is basically just a sketch of my face <laughs> and the back of the file is transparent so it always displays on the checkerboard so I should like maybe do up a background for it or something and make it fancier. All right. Ah, oh, yeah, let's. Oh, yeah, this one's a good one. The other thing I thought of doing too with the overlays is if I was going to go all vintage like that and uh, at the beginning and the end of the stream from like start and end screen, I get like those really old television test patterns with the tone and just like make the whole thing look at, look like it's from the early 20th century.
Uh, pretty sure sure those are open source by now. Sorry, which one? Uh, which ones? I I uh, forgot what we were talking about when I played that piece. <laughs> Got any lively Irish jigs for me? I don't have uh, Irish stuff right. Well, um, I haven't played it in a while. Oh, the TV tone screen. Oh yeah, yeah, that stuff's definitely all all pub public domain by now. Um. And I mean, I'm not sure if you can really copyright some of those test patterns, but because like every TV station used them. Uh, Irish stuff. I I have a I have an Irish fiddle tune, but uh, I haven't practiced it in a while. I've got some old timey uh, jigs and stuff. They're short and cute. Actually, here I'll play two of my favorites. This is old time fiddle. So this is like stuff that comes from the prairies. Actually, these were written in Manitoba, but it's a lot of the same style stuff that you get out here in Alberta. out for spamming emotes uh oh i'll have to make some adjustments to nightbot for that <laughs> oh nightbot you are just too much sometimes <laughs> i'm like i wonder what uh, what's the okay i'm just gonna check the uh uh spam protection what do we got here uh excess cap excess emotes okay disable <laughs> there we go Awesome. Three, four or more is too many. Well, I just turned that off. So hopefully uh, you can uh, hype that up as much as you like. I got to still add something to uh, get the emote. I have, I see one streamer that uh, has their emotes like uh, kind of float up the screen when, when people spam the chat with them. Me spamming that you can't read, but I have mine turned off as well. Yeah. Yeah, she's got hers turned off, obviously, and, and sometimes her chat is just all emotes, and the screen is like, you know, there it's just full of emotes. Add-on things you can enable on Twitch. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm using Streamlabs, and uh, I've got my Twitch controls open, too. Um, I just haven't figured all that stuff out yet. Still new at this. Having fun, though. All right, I'll also play you, that was the Kimmy Kids jig. I'll play you the Raspberry Hill jig too. Fun, fun, fun. You know what? I'm going to open up that Irish tune and see. Maybe this will be a, a kind of a sight. I mean, I knew it at one point. Uh, this will be kind of a sight reading thing. Now i got to find. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's drag this window over here. Let's expand that. And then page view, two pages, perfect. Ooh, the notes are so tiny. Let's try to zoom in a bit. Zoom in some more. Can all the notes fit on the screen now is the question. Yep, I think we got it. It's drafting a ranked match of Here's the Storm now. Yeah, no problem, cool, cool. Well, I'm gonna try I'm going to try to stab at this Irish piece that I played a long time ago um, and see what happens. <laughs> uh -huh. 
No, that's got to be practiced for sure. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, caps. Now you... Oh, I should turn that one off too. <laughs> okay. Uh, dashboard. Here we go. Spam protection. Disable excess caps. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like, what? Seriously? You know what? I'm just going to disable most of these because most of them just look like a pain in the butt. Uh, let's see. The The keyword blacklist is on, but I've got no words on that list. So there we go. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Oh, man, it deleted all of your messages. Oh, brutal. Okay, and it timed you out for like five minutes. Okay, let me see if I can... Uh... Can I undo that? Commands? Nope. Logs, regular spam protection. Huh. I don't know how to undo that. Okay, but I turned off all those filters. So if you decide you're going to spam the chat again with lots of caps and lots of emotes, you should have no problem. <laughs> Oh, man. Nightbot, Nightbot, why? Why do you do this? Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, you, you just typed, yeah. I uh, got timed out for, oh, 10 minutes. Ah! <laughs> for typing, woo! Oh, man. Well, like I said, I, I just, I uh, if you're watching this right now, I disabled the rest of those stupid filters, so you shouldn't have that problem anymore. <laughs> Eight minutes left. Nightbot going to ban me at this rate. No, no. I, I, I turned off all the, all the things, <laughs> so it shouldn't be a problem. But uh, can you lift those bans, or does it just automatic, you know, For those of you that are wondering what's going on, I'm, I'm talking to AC on my phone right now. <laughs> anyway, I'll figure out how to do that later, but it's probably only got seven minutes left on the ban anyway, so you can unban people, just got to manually do it. Yeah, I couldn't figure out where uh, where to do that. So Anyway, I'm going to put this, uh, this Irish tune away because I'm kind of butchering it. Um, so I'll, I'll practice that and, uh, and we'll, uh, I'll practice that in one of my practice sessions this week. There we go. Hey mom, how's it going? We're having good times here chatting with people. Nightbot is trying to ban my friends cause he's evil. Um, but yeah, so I tuned up, tuned up Nightbot a little bit. Ten minute new one. Oh, okay. So I just have to type that into the chat and then it'll unban you. Let's try it. Slash timeout. Ed Venture Class one. For one second. <laughs> and now you should be free again. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, I played that one already today. Uh, let's do... 
Ah, the songbirds of spring. Let's try to uh, get ourselves into a warmer frame of mind. mentioning earlier it's cold and wet and dark here but the wet at least it's not snowing it's getting warmer getting better all righty my tea is lukewarm now but uh that's all right okay Ooh, i think i recorded this one the waltz of the shining mountains it's got a duet part uh i did i did record it okay uh, let's play some duets. Sunny Manitoba is living up to its name. Well, that's good. Yeah, it's been a little cloudy here for, for a couple of days. Oops, I just closed Audacity. I didn't want to do that. There we go. Um, yeah, it's been a little cloudy and cold-ish. We've had a little bit of rain the last couple of days. Not, not too terrible. Yesterday was all right. Today has been pretty dark. But uh, I'm definitely warm in here. I've got the heat cranked up, and I've got my foot warmer down here I've got my tea and my cookie oh I still need to eat my cookie maybe in another couple minutes alrighty oh I did that one already today uh, ooh, no maybe not ah this is another good duet that I think I've, I think I've got it cold but sunny that's good yeah I uh We've had a couple of warm days here already, which has been nice. Um, oh, it'll just start to get warmer from here. All right. The April morning waltz. We're going to try to will more of this warm weather in. Thank you. 
we go. Cool, cool, cool. Lots of fun, these tunes. All right. Let's jump back into a couple of Baroque and classical pieces, and then I'm going to play some more of these uh, uh, reels that I learned this week. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. I'll actually just open that up and prep a couple of those right now. But in the meantime, I'll play something by Beethoven. You're free! Yes, yes, did the... Um, oh, well, you probably didn't check. I, I tried your trick there to release your timeout. <laughs> but I know you're busy doing other things right now, lurking and, and things like that. <laughs> so, one second thing didn't work. No! Boo! All right, well, I'll have, to, I'll have to do some more research on how to control Nightbot manually. But I did disable all those filters uh, because, yeah, they're a pain in the butt. I even disabled... Uh, I don't have anything on the black list with words and phrases, but I disabled it anyway. I disabled everything just so that it doesn't uh, cause any more issues. <laughs> yeah, timed out. Oh, I can see your messages here, though. Uh, timed out for 600 seconds by Nightbot for posting caps. Woo! <laughs> I don't know if it becomes a pro well yeah exactly so but right now they're causing <laughs> they were causing a problem <laughs> so turn it off all right Beethoven minuet in G. always a fun one to play too like I say in previous streams and to my students probably from Beethoven's happier days alrighty let's play some more reels anti-woo stream yeah nightbot but now it works everybody can see it you're not getting banned <laughs> how many strikes does nightbot take before it bans some can nightbot ban pre people permanently All right, the Baker's Narrows reel. Thank you. 
40s reel. Do another reel and then we'll do some other classical Baroque stuffs again. on that one. That one's tricky. All right. Hmm. No, I played that one already today. Ah, here's a good one.
Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm going to have to, there's this Veracini Sonata in this book too that I got to repractice at some point as well. So, AC, before you showed up, I think I was mentioning to my viewers that uh, I still got to find that fit, one of my favorite fiddle tunes, which I can't remember how to play because it's been too long since I played it. And it was also really difficult, Fly in the Puddin', but I wrote it down this time to remember to look for the music so that I can practice it. Actually, so I've, I already know what I'm going to be practicing on one of my practice streams this week. And that's going to be, uh, if I find the music for Flying and Puddin', I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to practice that Irish fiddle tune so that I can get those whipped back into shape. Puddin', yep. You know, I haven't had a good pudding in a while. I like a good chocolate pudding. Maybe I should uh, endeavor to correct that. All right. You know, I have not played any unaccompanied Bach today. Let's see. Let's go to the back of the book. Not that far back. Not into box manuscripts, but close. So that I can play this jig. Not a fiddle jig, but uh, definitely similar. Like I've mentioned in the past, Baroque jigs are quite similar to modern jigs. They all follow the same rules. always nice and bright and lively and then here is a nice uh, more somber darker one but kind of relaxing I'll retune first now we're okay oops let me get this thing out of the way there we go
<laughs> Should play some Zombicide again soon. Yes. Oh man. I remember a few weeks ago a uh, memory came up on on Facebook. Uh fun fun fun. Putting dark and relaxing. We'll drink some mead to that. Yeah. Oh, you have mead? Nah. I, you know, I was never really a big fan of mead. I tried it one time. Not not uh, it's all right. Not a huge huge fan. But having fun with small batch brewing, although some of them don't turn out good doing random experimenting. Yeah, there's definitely some uh uh chemistry involved with that stuff. My mom was really good at making wine for a while, but uh she uh got out of that and gave the equipment away. So, it's two blocks away now. I know flavored mead with uh like a few blueberries basic mead yeah i think i just had like a plain basic mead and i think it was well made but yeah it was yeah nah. <laughs> so yep yeah. yeah uh i wanted to try to get into uh making beer but that just hasn't happened yet i've got i've got so much on my plate already i don't need to add anything more to it <laughs> yeah pretty much alcohol nothing fancy it's fermented honey i think pretty much so <laughs> anyway that last piece i played was the uh first movement of the partita number two in d minor um and for some reason every time i play it it always gets flagged uh when when it goes to video on demand um and it's really weird too because well first of all it's public domain but because it's bach right 300 years old right um, but uh, there are copyrighted recordings of this piece out there. Of course, I'm not using those recordings. I'm playing it myself. But the system always mistakes me for this obscure Italian violinist that nobody's heard of, and I'm just like, what? I would have thought maybe I'd, you know, it would, it would, uh, I don't know, maybe, yeah, why, why it does? Who knows? I mean, I'm not the big greatest violinist in the world. I'm not the worst either. So maybe this guy is the same. I definitely don't get mistaken for people like James Ennis or Perlman, though. None of their stuff ever comes up when my when my stuff gets flagged. So <laughs> there we go. But I have no idea who this Italian violinist is that this that the system keeps mistaking me for. Anyway, anyway, I will be right back. And don't go anywhere. And I'm back. And I just realized that this cookie is still sitting on the corner of my desk. Mm. There we go. AC, I, I, I invented these new... Uh, well, I'm sure other people have done this before, too. Got these really good peanut butter cookies that I added chocolate chips to. 
maybe some sometime when um, we're allowed to get together inside each other's homes again, we'll uh, we'll invade your stream again with these special peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Good times. All right. Back to the fiddle. There's a few more reels I'm excited to play. Alrighty, let's give them a whirl. break <laughs> and some delicious tea which is getting cold because it's been sitting there since the beginning of the stream <laughs> I've been slowly slowly drinking it okie dokie this next one's called uh, Byron's Breakdown, and if you had been watching me practice it on Tuesday on the Tuesday stream, you'll know that this was actually dedicated to Byron Myers from Myers Music um, by the composer of this piece. The fiddle community is rather small and well connected across the prairies, so um, it was a bit uh, it was kind of fun and surprising to see it at first, but then in retrospect, I'm like, oh, it's not, not really surprising that they knew each other. <laughs> things like falling apart now. So we'll just get rid of it. There we go. Next one is called The Devil's Gap. Thank you. 
And these ones are all kind of short and cute. Lots of fun. All right, I think these ones, I haven't practiced these ones yet, so we're not going to do that. Oh, this one I've played before, though. The Daily House Reel. Special. Oh well, not well. You know, not not uh, not suspiciously special. Just special because I invented something new, or reinvented something that somebody else had invented. <laughs> so there we go. I actually all I did was take a regular peanut butter cookie recipe and add chocolate chips to it. <laughs> so really, I'm probably not the first person who's ever done that. Alrighty, let's go back to the front of the book and play some waltzes. And again, for those of you looking forward to the warm weather, and for those of you who are campers and are hoping to be able to start camping soon, uh, the Picnic Basket Waltz. You know, it's amazing actually how many times, yeah, my mustache keeps getting crooked. Uh, it's amazing how many times though our uh, AC streams would uh, go quickly into discussions, uh, in-depth discussions on baked goods. And now I'm thinking about all the other things I want to bake, but I'm really trying to behave myself too and not consuming so much sugar so that I don't like balloon up. So putting on toast. Actually, you know what? Uh, one of my students came up with a really, really good idea that I still haven't tried yet. When I'm teaching the really little ones and we're starting to learn Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, we talk about the Twinkle Sandwich. It is a cute, cute little thing because Twinkle Twinkle Little Star has an A section, a B section, and then you have to play the A section again. So it's like bread filling and a bread. So we talk about the twinkle sandwich and how the pieces is layered. And uh, that helps them break it down so that they can practice it properly. And one of the fun exercises I do with my uh, with all the kids is uh, I ask them to come up with their own, invent a new sandwich for each twinkle variation. Well, one kid came up with this. Banana bread with Nutella. And I was just like, you are 
a genius. <laughs> Do not want? What? <laughs> I don't know. It sounded good to me. I I'm going to have to try it at some point. <laughs> so there we go. But yeah, I still have uh, uh, thing. I've eaten weirder things. Oh, so have I. Yeah, totally. Um, actually, the weirdest thing I ever ate was a sea urchin. I did not care for that at all. <laughs> that was when I was in Japan and I went to a sushi place. And the sushi was great. I mean, when you're in Japan, of course, you're going to get good sushi. But there were certain things that, you know, I just couldn't get good past my palate. A sea urchin was one of them. <laughs> nope. Um, but yeah, I still have... Uh, things of uh, vegetable shortening in my cold room that I need to make pie crusts with and, and stuff like that. But I'm really trying not to consume too much sugar right now. I do have a bit of sweet tooth, a sweet tooth. I like my pie. I like cookies. And since I started making my own pie crusts from scratch, it's just so much better than buying the tender flake pie shells from the store. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, Excuse me while I inhale my tea. <coughs> Not that there's anything wrong with the tender flake shells. They're really good, but homemade is always better. <coughs> <Whoa. coughs> Note to self, do not try to breathe in your tea. Okay, let's see. I've got, oh, the Metal Lark Waltz. This one's a duet. And I've got the recording for this one. So let's play this one. That's really funny, actually. Speaking of the banana bread and Nutella thing, yeah, that may, may not sound appealing to you, but the other thing, too, that uh, my wife finds uh, a little off-putting is chocolate chips in banana bread for some reason. And, of course, it's something that a lot of people do all the time, and I, I love chocolate chips in my banana bread. But um, Spatz is like, no, no, just regular banana bread. I'm like, okay. <laughs> So, but I haven't made banana bread for a little while either. In fact, let's see, I've been married now, what, for three and a half years? Almost four years. And uh, I still have not actually made any banana bread for, for my wife. I've baked her lots of other things, though. So, there we go. I tell you, the homemade pies, though, when you do it all from scratch and you got this really nice, big, deep pie plate, those are so dangerous. I made this huge pumpkin pie that was like two inches thick last week, and my wife and I finished it in two days. <laughs> oh, you like it? You like your banana bread classic too? Ah, gotcha. I mean, I like classic banana bread. Don't get me wrong; it's good too. But I, I do like adding chocolate things to mine. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ah. No, I probably don't even need a book for these ones, but let's see. Uh, I haven't played uh, The Country Dance in a while. So for those of you that don't know, this is actually not a fiddle tune. It was uh, written by Weber, probably for one of his operas. I don't know much about this piece, actually. Also a big fan of normal peanut butter cookies with some milk. How I feel about chocolate chip. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, good. Classic peanut butter is 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 pretty good. So, but I was I was curious, so I was experimenting with adding chocolate chips to it. All right. So anyway, yeah, this country dance. Uh, probably for one of his operas. I don't know much about the piece itself, but I know that Weber wrote um, 
other pieces of music that kind of had a country feel to them or, or that were part of, of those particular types of scenes in his operas. Uh, so here we go. Country dance. <laughs> Yeah, that one's always lots of fun. And speaking of country-sounding stuff uh, from one of Weber's operas, I'm also going to play the, this Hunter's Chorus from his opera Die Freischutz. It's, uh, this is one of the ones that I really love talking to my students about because uh, it's music history, but it's also a bit of just general uh, history. Uh, this particular piece of music is from a scene in the opera set where the, uh, the guys are coming back from the fox hunt. Of course, fox hunting is now illegal, but it was a very popular sport, especially among the upper class in the early 20th century, and well, probably probably for a lot longer before that as well. Um, uh, so this particular part of the opera is all about the hunters coming home with their with their trophy. <laughs> I've got other stories about this opera too, um, or my my experiences with this opera. I remember one time in uh, music history class back when I was in university, um, we were watching uh, excerpts from this opera, and there was a a scene where one of the characters is being menaced by spirits and specters in in a dark uh, enchanted forest. Um, but, uh, and it was supposed to be scary and serious, you know, it, it was a serious opera. Um, but the recording that we were watching was just awful, just, just really, really badly done and, uh, had some rather interesting imagery in it. And we were just killing ourselves laughing the entire time. And then the professor who I'm sure knew full well why we were laughing, uh, just made it worse by saying, why are you laughing? It's supposed to be serious. <laughs> and yeah, that, that definitely, he had pretty much lost control of the room at that point. Uh, so yeah, I do advocate, you know, trying to find good recordings of your operas. Um, that is if you want to enjoy them for what they're worth. If it's a serious opera, you don't want to be laughing your head off most of the way through. <laughs> 
<laughs> All righty. Well, I think that's going to be it for me for today. Once again, I want to thank all my followers for helping me reach that benchmark. And uh, I had a lot of viewers, uh, well, well, not a lot, but I had a decent number of viewers today. And hopefully that pushes my metric over uh, so that I can uh, apply to the affiliate program. I'm hoping I, I hit that achievement tonight. So uh, that's it for me for tonight. I wish every road to affiliate. Here we go. Hooray. Yep. I'm, I'm hoping I can do that this week. So and then I'll be able to start uh, expanding and adding stuff as well. So anyway, I will be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Mountain Time uh, for the Monday practice. And I might be doing a little bit of performing tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I have, uh, like I said, today this week is spring break for me and my students. So I have a little bit more uh, time and flexibility tomorrow. I'll still run the, uh, the stream at its normal time and do some practicing of this fiddle stuff. I'm hoping I can find my fly in the pudding music. Um, and uh, maybe some playing around and chatting if, if people are around. So with that, I wish you all a good night, and I will see you all tomorrow.